Korean Aerospace Industries, a global leader in aircraft manufacturing, has long been recognized for its commitment to quality and innovation. Known for its successful collaborations with industry giants like Lockheed Martin and Airbus, KAI continues to push the boundaries of aviation technology. One of its latest milestones is the successful maiden flight of the Marine Attack Helicopter prototype, marking a significant step forward in South Korea's defense capabilities. On January 15, KAI newly developed Marine Attack Helicopter took to the skies for the first time, showcasing impressive advancements in design and technology. This helicopter is specifically engineered for demanding missions, including amphibious assaults, close air support, and coastal defense. The development of the Marine Attack Helicopter is part of a $307 million contract awarded to KAI in 2022, aimed at enhancing the Republic of Korea Marine Corps' capabilities. The Marine Attack Helicopter is based on KAI's Marineon and KUH-1 Surion helicopters, which are already in service with the Republic of Korea Marine Corps. However, this new attack helicopter features significant upgrades and modifications, tailored to meet the Republic of Korea Marine Corps evolving mission requirements. The first test flight lasted around 20 minutes and included a range of flight maneuvers such as takeoff, hovering, circling, and forward or backward flight tests. The flight took place at an altitude of about 100 feet, demonstrating the helicopter's stability and flight control performance. The helicopter boasts a top speed of 142 knots, 263 kilometers per hour, a range of over 800 kilometers, 497 miles, and an operational altitude of 4,500 meters, 14,764 feet. These features make it well-suited for a variety of mission types, ensuring reliability and flexibility in combat situations. KAI is now preparing for further testing to evaluate the MAH's speed, altitude, and performance. Under different conditions, the company aims to complete system development by August 2026, with the helicopter expected to meet the high-performance standards required by the Republic of Korea Marine Corps. Furthermore, Italy has shown support for Saudi Arabia joining the Global Combat Air Program, a major defense initiative aimed at developing a next-generation fighter jet by 2035. The Global Combat Air Program is a collaborative project between Japan, Italy, and the UK, with the goal of creating a new fighter jet to enhance defense capabilities. The program, launched in 2022, is expected to cost hundreds of billions of euros and is led by major defense companies like Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Leonardo, and BAE Systems. While Italy supports Saudi Arabia's entry into Global Combat Air Program, it would require detailed negotiations and time. Saudi Arabia's defense industry would need to align with the current partners to ensure smooth integration. During visit, Italy Prime Minister signed agreements worth $10 billion, with Saudi price covering various sectors including defense, energy, and tourism. Italian defense company Leonardo also agreed to boost aerospace cooperation with Saudi partners.
In addition to defense matters, Italy and Saudi Prime Minister discussed global issues like the Ukraine conflict and rebuilding efforts in Syria and Lebanon. While Saudi Arabia's involvement in global combat air program is still in early talks, Italy's support signals positive progress. As discussions continue, Saudi Arabia's participation could strengthen the defense collaboration between the nations involved in the program. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Hey there! Are you pursuing aviation studies and struggling with aviation subjects? Don't worry! At Jetline Marvel, we bring over 10 years of experience in the aviation industry. We've crafted an amazing textbook packed with valuable content tailored to your graduation requirements and aligned with Bangalore University's curriculum. Check out our book on Amazon and order your copy today.